When someone suggests you make a burrito with filet mignon, Hey Sam, you should make a burrito with filet mignon. You say yes. And that someone was Max. It went like this, hey, I've got an idea. I had a great burrito tonight. It had filet in it. Why don't we do that? Like, okay. And then we differed about what exactly the makeup of it would be, as we often do. We're trying to get better. It got a little heated, didn't it? Yes. I apologized. I did too. You did too. Look. We just uh, need to be able to talk about the stuff without getting heated. I know. We're passionate people. We're passionate people and we're identical people. I am like my father, Max is like me. Anyway, so this is gonna be great. We're making some great rice and beans to go in. It'll be absolutely delicious. But we have a surprise. Do you remember the, uh, the chance, would you eat a couple raw eggs for a thousand buck thing we talked about a few weeks ago? Yes. Yeah. Well, it's, it's in that vein. Chance is eating the egg. I didn't say that. I said it's in that vein, not giving anything away. And while you're there and comfortable, before we get going, this would be a perfect opportunity for you to hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, call your friends. Don't call your friends now and tell them about us. Call them after. We love the attention. Or pause and call them right now and then play again. Pause. Hit the space bar. It'll pause. Call them. All of them, then come back, we'll still be here like, it'll be like that. I hate, you, I hate it when I'm watching. Max sends the videos after he's edited it, and I just go through for my own the edification and maybe, oh, we need a couple seconds here, there, whatever. Sometimes I hit pause and it's, it's, it's Wait, what's it like? It's, <laughs> I can never pause it when I'm looking handsome, which is probably impossible because I'm not. Okay, the filet I spoke of, here we go. Damn. Pull it out to us. I cut these bitches myself. The store had some small ones uh, that I didn't want. And they had a piece of filet. I did this. I did good work. I mean, hey, if you're going to make a filet burrito, start with some damn fine filet. Let's season it up, get it cooking, and then we'll do the other shit. That's a pretty raw steak. <laughs> Chance said... It's a pretty raw steak. And I go, do you mean it's like very raw or do you mean it's pretty and raw? Max helped us know that there's no pretty raw. It's either raw or it's not. It's like pregnant. You're either pregnant or you're not. Let's make this burrito pregnant. <laughs> We're going simple. We're building flavor every other place. We're cooking these like some steaks. The way I like to cook steaks. Avocado oil. What are you laughing at? We're cooking these like some steaks. Stop it. What I mean is I mean kosher salt and pepper. That's all they're getting. And again, they're super thick. It won't penetrate. So you got to be generous with this. That's what she said? Ugh. You said thick and it won't penetrate. Come Stop. on. <laughs> it's too easy. All right. Grill. And on we go. So if you remember the picanha that we cooked the other day for that steak sandwich, I set up the grill for two zone cooking. This is an outstanding technique. This side is hot. This side is not. The goal is get it seared beautifully, bring it over here, shut the lid, let it cook like it's in an oven and it will cook evenly and beautifully. Yes, we'll turn it, but the indirect low heat will not overdo it. And because this grill has two sides, it's easy like that. If your grill had three heat zones, you do the same thing. You could just turn off the middle zone and use that for the indirect. So we'll go like that, like that. Oh, that's hot. We're just searing at this point, getting color, good marks, and then we'll go over. All right, so an after now, maybe a minute and a half. Beautiful. And we're ready, let's move our friends over to the not hot side and close the lid. Time for rice and beans. We begin with some avocado oil, then we'll add some diced yellow onion, a couple fat cloves of garlic. Oh, wow, that was hard. 
for the stir. We're gonna let that soften over the next uh, two, three minutes. All right, after a couple minutes, we'll put in a cup of rice and I'm using basmati rice. We'll just stir the rice around in the onion garlic business for a bit, let it soak up some of that flavor. And then we're gonna pour in two cups of chicken broth. Chance, could you use plain water? You could. No! You couldn't. <laughs> you could, but you'd be a f***ing idiot like Chance. <laughs> of course you could, but why would you? And if you don't want the chicken broth, you could use vegetable broth. But I'm going to guess anybody watching us isn't going to have a problem with chicken broth. We'll give it a pinch of salt. Help bring out the flavor of everything. And then we're going to squeeze in about a lime and a half. Boost up this flavor. Give it a nice tangy component. Stir it a bit. And while we wait for the rice to come to a boil, we'll check our steaks. Just check the temperature of these guys. This guy's 126.4, perfect. And this guy, 122. All right, let's take the little kid off. The little kid. We've got another couple minutes to go with this guy. We'll give him a turn. When it gets anywhere past 125, 126, we're gonna yank them. And once it comes to a boil, we give it a good stir, make sure nothing's sticking. Put the lid on, turn it down to a simmer, give it about 20 minutes. In the meantime, we'll make our beans. All right, I'm using canned black beans, which are fully delicious. I'm gonna get them out without much of the juice. I'm not anti-juice, but I don't want them to be swimming in it. So we'll get these going in here. Clearly this is a hot little pot. When they're all out, let's add some seasonings. And that will be cumin. You know, I am I often use the same lineup for Mexican-ish stuff like this. That's garlic powder. I like smoked paprika for the smokiness and the paprikaness. Oh, that was a little too much. I think I'll be okay. Pinch of salt and we mix. Now these just need to warm up. Oh, I love them. You could use refried beans if you wanted, but black are nice for a change. And now we're just waiting, but I have something for us to do while we wait. So after the whole chance eating raw eggs thing, I get a uh, email from Scott Perrin in Sarasota, Florida. And he goes, I do it all the time. Be happy to send a video of it said yes. I think I was saying yes before I even finished reading his, his email. So I thought this would be fun. We'll watch it at the same time. I've seen it, these boys haven't. So they're gonna come over here. The same time you watch it, these boys will watch it for the first time. How fun is this gonna be? Come on, lads. I'm Scott Perry from Sarasota, Florida. And I really wanna thank you for allowing me to do this raw egg challenge. And we feel like you know your family, uh, Max and Chance, Slough Bob, Lucky <laughs> so, uh, it's great to be able to do this. So, let me get right Sorry, to it. Charlie. First, I said I was going to take two raw eggs, crack them into a glass. Oh, martini, martini. glass. Martini. That just makes it worse now in my mind. First one to drink, so we're going to do two raw eggs. Oh. oh. And you know they go to. He didn't even like. No. He like but, sipped it first. But it's like it goes down like a lump, the yolk part. Oh. Yeah, and I thought we'd make it a little bit Sam esque. Put a little kosher salt in <laughs> Oh, well, that's almost cheating. That looks delicious. You know, stop now, it. Now I like this dish. Oh, enough to eat, drink? Enough to watch. Yes. Okay, so, what, all over so what's worse in your mind? The whole eggs or the... Oh, the whole eggs is worse. I'm telling Actually, you. No, 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 this is worse. It's a little milky. Oh, oh, I can puke. God. I swear to God, I can absolutely it. fucking puke right now. <laughs> nice work. He's man. the man. He's the gross man. Ooh. Before I finish the rice, I need to make a sour cream thing to go on the tortilla. So here's what I'm using. Bowl. Uh, sour cream, of course. And just some uh, uh, green uh, salsa. Salsa Verde. A little mix of that in here. Okay. Yum. Uh, rice. And that's it. Ow, ow, ow. So look, this is what you want now, right? 
not sticky, relatively fluffy rice, beautiful. But two things, nobody move. First, a nice little bunch of cilantro, a little bit more lime juice for a super fresh kick. And we mix. Look at, you know how great that's gonna be? It's gonna be insane. All right, let's build. And we're here, so let's see how we've done. Hello, cutie. Oh, please, please. How do I do this? I'll tell you how I do this. It's the indirect method. I seared it on the hot, then I brought it over to the other side and I turned it a lot. And I used a instant read thermometer. There's, there's one below, you can click on and get it. This will save you from fucking up your meat. And if you're like me, you don't want fucked up meat, right? Right, that's what she said too. Should we have a bite though? Yes. One little bite, everybody? Yeah. Yes. One little bite. I'll just cut us each a piece. Oh my God. Chancy? Thank you. Maxie? Remember, only salt and pepper. Mm, wow. Mm. Okay, that's why I use filet because it's so tender. Oh my God, buy it when it's on sale. And then freeze it. Vacuum seal, freeze it. It'll come back like new. All right, keep cutting. There's nothing worse than oh, cutting. He's back. The fly's back? Yeah. There's nothing worse than cutting into a steak and it not being the way you want it. And this, by the way, is the way I want it. So we'll just stack these guys up. So we'll just, we'll make these like dice, sort of. You know, these guys will get cut like this. And we'll throw these kids into the pack. And this little piece here. And now it's burrito time. And the tortilla goes on. Remember, we're not uh, making it crispy. We're just warming it up so it's pliable. And while I'm looking at it, I noticed that the taco shop gave me not the most beautiful of tortillas. It's so busted up edges and stuff. It's okay, we'll make it work. Now we can go. And, oh, here we go. First down, I'm going with a layer of beans that will look like this. Oh, the smell of them. The cumin, the garlic. Oh, boy. Ah, oh, lad, this is gonna be great. Nice. Beans, now the rice. Perfect. Perfect. That's a beautiful bed for you know what. What, Max? Our steak. Our steak. We go like this. How's that look? You happy? That's what I'm talking about. Are you happy, little boy? Let's just do a little cilantro because I freaking love it. Now the sauce. We're just going to go like this. Oh, my God. Can I tell you how good this is going to be? Do you go have any ahead, ideas? Please. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> now the avocado. Oh, come on, dude. Please. Let me just throw that whole side in there. Now we roll, sides in, top over. Now we roll away from us. I know somebody's yelling, cheese Sam, are you putting cheese in? Oh, I'm getting there, don't you worry. Now this guy goes on the flat top to crisp up and on we go. So now we're taking our time. This is the adding crispness part, ladies and gentlemen. It's not a critical step, but it's a good one. And combined with what I'm gonna do with the cheese, just say you're gonna wanna do this. All right, this guy's ready to flip. Come on, buddy. That's what you want. You want crisp like that. Now, a little, ah, wow. What a surprise. It's hot. A little push down, a little push down, all good. While it starts to get crispy itself, now I'm gonna add some cheese, but here's where the cheese goes. Cheese goes right beside it, and you'll see what we'll do. Give it a second. It's important, take your time, take your time. Everybody settle. Now, we get our friend. We nestle him right in that beautiful bed of cheese, and we leave him for a sec, maybe 30 seconds. Wow. Wow! So loosen, loosen, loosen. We don't want to screw this up. And in one motion, there's our kid. Now we can come off. 
And we're down. Hello, sweetheart. Can I just show you something, my favorite angle? Well, of course, there's always the end. Not so big a deal. This side is very pretty, too. Damn. But this is what I like. I like the little curl over. It's like a barrel, Chance. Damn it. <laughs> it like a barrel. <laughs> Get in and out of that thing. That's surfer talk for people that don't know. You. Chance is our surfer. Okay, and so before I cut it, can we just take a moment to appreciate the gorgeousness of the whole thing? Just look at it. It's a Rembrandt, it's a Van Gogh, it's a, it's Mona Lisa hanging on the wall that you just stand back, it takes your breath away. But I think what's really gonna take your breath away is what happens inside, so let's cut this biatch, shall we? And we cut. Hear it? It's a perfect distribution of cheese throughout the burrito. A little bit with every bite, it's perfect. That's what I'm thinking. And... We open. There's our friend. <laughs> That's what we were hoping to see. You got everything in here. You got the beautiful steak. A chances perfect avocado. A little simple two ingredient sauce we made. The sour cream and the green salsa. Let's not forget our lime cilantro rice. Damn, and of course, the black beans. Thank you to Raycon for sponsoring this video. Boys, how long ago did Raycon come and ask us to sponsor a video? Four months. Four months? Five months? And how often do I talk about them? All the time. Not all the time. Yeah, all the time. No, not all the time, but I talk about them a lot. Because A, they're fantastic. B, they work really well. C, they fit in my ears like no other ones do. And the music, frankly, is outstanding. Okay, so check them out. Look, Raycon, because one of the co-founders is Ray J. So this is the Everyday E25 series. So I find these wireless earbuds ridiculously comfortable. They come in a variety of fit options. It's got this little compact carrying case that can charge the earbuds four times on a single charge. You have to like that. And unlike some of the other wireless options, Raycon earbuds are stylish looking. They're discreet. You hardly know that they're in there and there's no weird dangling little wires or stems. They're perfect for video chats. They start at about half the price of any other premium wireless earbud on the market. And celebrities like Melissa Etheridge, Brandy, even Mike Tyson are obsessed with Raycons. Also Rich the Kid though, I don't know who Rich the Kid is. The sound is just as amazing as other top audio brands and I love them for working from a home. Look, Zoom meetings have taken on a whole new audio level for me with these Raycons in my ears. Their E25s are their best model yet, with six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a nice, make that amazing, noise isolating fit, and they come in new fun colors. Me, I'm going with traditional black. Click the link in the description below to get 15% off your order. Go to buyraycon.com STCG for 50% off your order. Brought to you by Raycon. Oh boy, and here it is. Uh, look, whether you do the cheese, which by the way you should because look at it, this part, finishing off on the flat top is the thing to do because it adds that, it adds this. Couldn't do that if it wasn't crispy. Gorgeous. Salivating. Sweating. Sweating. Oh my God. God. It just works. The steak cooked beautifully. Super tender. Look, that's what you want. I would rather use a better cut of meat less often than a lesser cut of meat more often. Does that make sense, everybody? Yes. Yeah. yeah. This is what you used to say. I'd rather eat a good steak once a month than yes. a shitty steak four times a month. That's exact. Thank you for quoting me back to me. <laughs> Shit. He's old. He forgets things. A little sour cream. Green salsa is important. 
even though the steak is tender, even though the rice is not dry, it still needs some kind of you know moisture or something in here, and that's the role of sour cream. And when you can add something to it and just have it be great, then just do that. All right, thanks for hanging, thanks for being here. Uh, make this, make everything. We love you if you subscribe and, and all that stuff. Hey, don't forget, I have a new cookbook coming out, Sam the Cooking Guy, recipes with intentional leftovers. Hits the uh, stores November 10th, but you can pre-order now. There's a link down there. Pre-order. Let's get on the New York Times bestseller list. Well, yeah. See ya. Mm, the cheese.